Wow, <clears throat> I, I went just back to sleep after the last video, and, and this is what happened. I uh, had a weirdest dream, um, but here it is. It was three days before Christmas, and at eight I woke. No sugar plum fairy or blade at my throat. No shredded forearms or fake suicide note. Just the ghostly voice of Judy who said, time for a smoke. No visions of Twinkies twere dancing in my head. Nor dust bunnies lurking twere under my bed. The hand at my throat, but a gentle caress, but nails for the glance of a ghost, I digress. On the nature of Twinkies, which never go bad, in my dream there were none, all gone, none to be had. A little known fact, and I offer for debate, that every Twinkie ever sold, indeed everyone ate, past, present, and future, have already been made. For this was accomplished on some long-ago date, the inventor not known to contemporary ingrates. What underground warehouse in secrecy compliant? Right next to the freezer and the Kandahar giant. The warehouse thus bare an abandoned facility, but budget cuts were moved. By budget cuts were moved, or by Biden Joe's duplicity. So, not to prove, as the case proved to be, the warehouse was bare, but no Twinkies for to see. But Moadib was there, <clears throat> a big rat in train, entangled in green holiday garland intertwined and quite plain the floor molding gone let not go to waste but bare u.s government white walls and not to the base twas under some drywall they bid their escape but for that green holiday garland their egress twould have been made for search they for a hole in the thick underground walls twere backed with thick concrete bomb proof with rebar and no that don't rhyme but who's keeping track the issue Moadib and to foil that fell rat. But that don't rhyme either, and who frickin' cares? But green holiday garland encumbered, by green holiday garland encumbered, intertwined was the pair. In the center of the room was a sparse and sickly Christmas tree, but worse than Charlie Brown's, though undaunted it be. What debauchery unfolded as the rat humped the mouse, but under the paltry Christmas tree, undaunted like a louse. Not a creature was stirring except for a warty green frog, who thus proceeded to hump the rats. Must have been something, but in the grog. The frog groped the rat's butt as the mouse fell like a log, but dreaming of cheese or other nondescript holiday sleaze, who knows, but the mouse fell like a log. The rat turned away and made its escape from the frog in the green holiday garland, and the mouse stopped now, Moadib, er er late. But thus in her path a shadow indeed awaited, no tail for to grasp her means indeed dated, behooved thus to be the toe of a boot, fell upon her fell head, twas addled with moot, crushed like a butt or more like a roach, as twas pivoted a toe on the rat which encroached, but no Twinkies nor Ho-Hos not to be found, nor any white rabbits on this trip underground. And thus I awoke, no sugar plum fairy in my head, just visions of Judy tap dancing in my head, tappity tap tap dancing on that rat's whittle head. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa too. With dreams such as this, I seldom am ever blue. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it was weird. It's um, uh, whew.